Hey there, Stampin' Friends. Welcome to Movie Monday with Jody Breckbill, Stampin' Queen. Today's project is this really cute treat holder, gift card holder. I did one of these before with Christmas, uh, and it was actually a card. It was called a Cascading Gift Card Holder, and uh, this is another sample from the same demonstrator that I cased. I just changed things up to be Valentine's Day, and I believe, I still don't, I, I'm still not sure of her name, but it's, I think, Buckeye Inking, or Buckeye Inkling, uh, is the name of the demo who I got this from so you just take this little belly band off and then it creates this little pouch and you've got three uh, Holders in here. So I have a little Ghirardelli in here. You could put tea bags in here money gift cards little love notes uh, Anything would work now if you want to change it to hold three candies You would need to change your score lines at the bottom because three candies is going to make it a little bit too wide so this is using some new product that is coming from our Occasions catalog, and it is just wonderful. So these will be available on January 3rd. So we're using the Meant to Be stamp set, as well as Beauty Abounds that I just used the For You from that one. And I do wanna share real quick that these are our new cling stamps. So while I have you captive here, I want to share how these guys work. So they are very similar to our red rubber stamps, um, actually the same red rubber, but the foam and the cling on the back is a little bit different. So when you take it off, you want to be very, very careful because when I say these cling, that is no lie. So um, let's peel one off here. So they look very similar, but this cling is very, very sticky. Okay, so now we're not going to have our stamps falling off of our blocks anymore. Yay, Stampin' Up! Thank you so much. So you do want to be careful because there is, the, the cling is so strong when it's on your block. You may have been used to just pulling them off and putting them on and pulling them off. Be very careful when you're pulling them off. The longer I've, I am finding, the longer they're stuck on the block and the longer they're, you're using them with the, the pressure of stamping, they're sticking even better, which is a great thing. But when you go to pull it off, you have to almost release that cling a little. So I find I, I just kind of get my fingernail underneath of a corner and just gently pull it up, or I use the um, spatula end of my take your pick tool. So uh, if you pull very, very hard, you may notice that you could actually tear your stamp because the cling is that strong. So I'm super excited about that and um, can't wait to get started. So let's go ahead and do some scoring first. I've got my Simply Scored tool here and I have got a six by 12 piece of, of uh, cardstock. You could definitely use designer series paper as well. I just chose cardstock because I didn't have um, en enough 12 by 12 for the project that I was doing. I'm limited on what I can order just yet from this new catalog. So I'm going to put my 12 inch side at the top and I'm going to score at three, six, and nine. I'm going to turn a quarter turn so that my six inch is at the top and I'm going to score at three. So while I have it out, I'm going to go ahead and um, I scored my belly band. I did that ahead of time, but just um, actually I'll, I'll put the, the um, dimensions in the caption. So I'm going to take this piece from my little folder and this is nine and a half by uh, three and a quarter. And I'm going to score at three and five eighths, four seven and five eighths and eight. I'm not sure that one went straight. Okay, so that's all for our scoring. Uh, I'll make sure, like I said, that they're in the caption. Get that out of here. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and make my folds. And I'm gonna do a little bit of corner rounding. So I'm just gonna round, this is, it's gonna go up like this and then my flap will come down. So I'm just gonna round these corners here. Oh, sorry guys. Well, we're going <laughs> to, all right, that's not the corner rounder side. Lordy. All right. So I'm making these movies early in the morning. So you're going to see that I have, um, a lot of shadow because I'm getting ready to get on a plane and get out of here for a little while. So I wanted to make this movie quick. So when you guys see this, I'll be gone. 
All right, so now I'm gonna take a piece of designer series paper and I'm gonna round those corners as well. Now I could leave this like that and I can stamp this over top or punch that over top of it and that would be cool too. Like I would have that little design show through which would be fun, but I'm not, I'm gonna cover that up. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead get those guys out of here. We're going to attach this piece onto our flap. And I'm betting I don't have any dimensionals here with me either. I just finished a class and trying to get things wrapped up to go on vacation is just always so much fun. All right, so another piece of get all these little pieces out of here um, our designer series paper and I have flowers or I could also do hearts if I really want it to be super valentiny so I don't know what I like better I think I'm gonna do flowers Alright, so that's ready to go. Now, before I get too invested, whoops, I'm going to take three of these label punches. I already did them ahead of time. And uh, I think this is called the Everyday Label Punch. Punch out three out of some designer series paper that you like. You can use either side, whatever floats your boat. And we're going to do those right in half a long way. So I like to have those kind of ready to go. So when I start making or folding the gift card holder portion, I'm ready to then attach it together so it doesn't start to come apart and I lose my place. Like if you watch my last video on this one, I kind of lost my place and things just went to hell in a handbasket. But I got back on track and we still made a gorgeous gift card holder. So uh, what we're going to do with this, I always like to make my scores, fold my scores first and make sure I have them nice and crisp. I think this just, in my mind, it helps me see my folds a little bit more. Now with this one we don't have to worry too much because it's white cardstock so there is no front and back. Yay! So I should be able to do this one correctly. So we're going to take and we're going to cut on the two ends. And Like I said it's super shadowy here in my studio today because it is really early in the morning. Okay, so I've got those two ends, and then I'm going to cut this one here opposite in the middle. Okay, so I'm going to take, when I start to fold, I've got my cut in the middle at the top. So I'm going to take this panel and I'm going to fold it forward. Then I'm going to fold it backwards, forward again backwards, forward again, backwards, and forward. So now I just kind of make sure it's nice and flat. Sorry about the rocking. And when I hold this up and I pull these two panels back, the two ends, there are my gift card holders. So what I need to do is seal these. These two panels are what's going to attach it into my project. So I'm just going to do some adhesive on both sides. And I'm going to pinch that one at the top. Next one will be pinched at the bottom. Now I think I explained on my last video the reason that I'm not attaching them, make sure I've got this right here. Oh, you guys, there we go. Um, like instead of putting the, the adhesive on the inside here and making that pouch, 
I'm keeping it open so that I could fit the candy in or a tea bag or something a little bit larger. Now, it may be a little bit too big for your gift card that it might wanna slide around. And so you could, on this particular one, you could actually put some adhesive on the inside flaps to make this pocket a little bit smaller. Now what we'll do is we're gonna take our one inch circle punch and just punch some little notches here in the end. And that just mean, makes it a little bit easier for you to get your item out. If, if it's a gift card or some money or lottery ticket or something like that. So just a little, just a little notchy. All right. So now to attach it in, I went ahead and I folded it back so that it was small again. I'm going to put my adhesive and I found that snail was working just fine. Um, I'm not sure that the Taran, uh, Taran tape would work just fine as well to make sure it's stuck in there. So I've got my adhesive and I'm going to take this edge and I'm going to have it meet the edge of that score line that I just did. And I'm kind of eyeballing it a little bit so it's in the center of my pouch here. Okay, so then I can take adhesive on this side and I'm just going to carefully bring it up and meet that other edge and I want to make sure that this spine is pretty straight. Okay, so now you have a little gift pouch inside there, right? Isn't that cute? So you could give some that to someone you love for Valentine's Day. So we're going to do a little bit of stamping because I want to show you some new products. So I went ahead and I did a, a um, oh, a very small oval, and I'm going to stamp my for you in there. And this is lovely lipstick we're using. Then I have a heart. Stamp that lovely lipstick on flirty flamingo get this out of the way oh i want to put my little i'm gonna put my little chocolate in there as well so it's ready to go that helps me also to put the belly band on because i kind of know how thick it's going to be so what i did <clears throat> was i die cut some things ahead of time i took these are our Mm, man, I don't remember. Be Mine framelits, I believe. And this is this is the one that I used to cut the heart out. So when you use this particular die, you're going to get your heart shape. But then you're also, when you poke out your negative, you get a very cool stitched heart sh uh, frame super sweet love this so make sure you keep that i also went ahead and did these guys with the scallop now one thing to keep in mind when you get these always check the back side because there's more lots of really cool little flourishes little hearts um this is a stitched um I don't know what I want to call it, border, I guess. So it makes a little scallop with stitch. I absolutely love this one. So there's two pieces to this. When you get it, make sure you check it so that you know what you have. Now, one thing that I did not do, where's my poker tool? I just had it. All right, so what I need to do is I need to go back through and I need to poke all these out. Now, I don't have to poke everything out, but just the, end, the edges because you can see where it's going to um, get covered up there. But, oh, there it is. I didn't know that I wanna poke while you guys have to sit and watch, but you know, you know me and technology, um, we're not best friends. But that's all I wanna do is just get these little guys out on the end there. There, that's all we need. Oh, there's a couple here. I'm not worried about anything else on the inside. So what I did to attach this was I just did a strip of snail kind of right down through the middle and just laid this over top. Oh, I see one that I need to punch out. <clears throat> one or two I missed, I guess. That's okay. All 
All right, so I'm gonna let that one sit to the side. It's not real, not a lot of adhesive is on it just yet. So I took my belly band, make my folds here, and I just brought it up and around. And a little bit, now I, I think I'm gonna use, do I have it here? Yes, let me let me use a little tear and tape just because when you start to fill it with candy and that kind of thing, it's a little bit thick. And so I wanna make sure that the belly band does not pop off when you're trying to slide it back and forth on your project. So let's get those guys off. Oh, the tear and tape does not want to work today. Or maybe it's my fingernails, I don't know. All right, get this off of here. All right, so we're gonna do that again. Spring that down to meet. And you want it to have it loose enough that it'll slide. You don't want it real tight that you can't get it off. And uh, then what I did I have some yeah we got some robe dimensionals here so then I took some dimensionals and put those on my heart and that's going to help to secure it a little bit more because I only want them just on the belly band I don't want them on the project at all then I just put my for you on it and there you go super sweet little treat for someone that you love. So thanks so much for joining me, everybody. Have a wonderful week, and I will see you next week for Movie Monday.